Hello everyone, this is Brian Kaiser Tillman coming to you today with a different kind of video. I'm actually going to be trying to do a planner for the rest of the year. And when I went to go look for a planner, I just couldn't find what I was looking for, not to mention most of this month is already gone. And my wife introduced me to bullet journaling and I couldn't find a bullet journal. So I figured I'd go ahead and just create one myself and maybe through through the work of trying to make a journal, I might actually come up with something really cool. So I just wanted to go ahead and start by saying what I did was I bought a sketchbook from Artist Loft and I'm going to be drawing everything out first with a regular mechanical pencil from Pentel and the markers and the liner that I'm gonna be using are from Shinhan Art. They're all touch markers and touch liners they're really good for illustrative work. I don't know exactly how it's going to work with this, but I figured since it's my tools of trade that it would be good to start with that. Now, I went ahead and did some research on bullet journaling, and I saw a lot of people who were doing some amazing stuff with their, their journals. Some of them were artistic, some of them were more ut utilitarian, but in the end, they were making some really cool stuff to help them get through the weeks and months to track what they're trying to do and plan their life and stuff like that. But one thing was definitely a push or in every single one, so it seemed, which was an intro page to their journal. Now, most of the times they were doing that for the month, but since I started in the middle of August, I figured I'd just do one for the entire year for this one and then maybe next month I'll actually do one for every month which will be pretty cool. But as you can see I'm drawing I guess my go-to person which is an angry guy <laughs> and he's yelling at me to get to work which is one of the main reasons why I'm actually trying to do this journal is so that I can actually be more productive because those of you who know me I'm a list guy or at least I claim, claim to be a list guy <clears throat> excuse me and I was doing lists before, but it wasn't as beneficial because sometimes I'd use it, sometimes I wouldn't. I didn't have a daily tracker. And I'm hoping that this will allow me to actually be more productive and see places where I'm weak or need more attention or I don't know, just hopefully it'll make me more of a productive artist and a better husband and a better father because I won't forget things. So I'm really looking forward to using this journal. And since it's a sketchbook, no one will question me what, what I have or why I have it. But I figured it'd be really cool to have as a sketchbook journal because if I really want to do some drawing, I can put it in there and hopefully the paper won't be bad or thin. But as you can see, just right there, it bled through to the other side. So this might actually be a problem moving forward that I might have to use different materials to try and figure out what I'm going to do. So what I'm doing here, like I said, I've seen people who are able to go straight from pen and make this, but I just don't trust myself to make straight enough lines or to actually get what I'm trying to do. So I actually sketched out everything first, as you can see with a, with my mechanical pencil and I lay everything out before I actually go in with the pen just to make sure that I'm going to have exactly what I'm looking for. And the first thing I wanted to do was give me just an overview, a quick look of the rest of the year. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to be lining out the months so that I can mark holidays or when I have days off and I'll highlight it or I'll put in a different color or something just to indicate, Hey, this day was important. So that way I can just flip to this second page real quick and go, look, this day was important, don't forget this. Now check your monthly journal or your weekly or your daily just so you can see what's going on. So as you can see, just laying out all the, the dates and numbers and stuff like that. When I was laying it out, I actually had a space for notes, which I thought was gonna be pretty interesting to have, not because it was necessary, but because I actually made a mistake with my layout and this way I actually had a spot, so it was, a good benefit to have so I actually have this notes section so that for the rest of the year if there's something that I actually need to know or remember I can just slap it on right there so I think that's really cool was a good idea 
Moving on, as you can see, using that black marker, the black Sharpie marker, I mean the touch marker, it goes right through the paper. And like I said, this is an Artist Loft sketchbook, so it's it was $5 at Michael's. I figured it would be a good book just because it has a lot of pages in it and I can keep trying and testing and stuff like that. And it's clear that these, these markers actually go through the paper. So I don't think that I'll be going through with those for next month. I'm going to have to try a different kind of material, maybe ballpoint pen or color pencils or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll test that out as we move forward. I think that this is going to be a great learning experience for me. And I really hope that it inspires some other people to do some stuff. But as you can see there, I'm a very big person of who needs goals. So instead of a New Year's resolution, I go ahead and do a, a full on year goals sheet. And so that's what that was. And as we continue to do these type of journals, I will show you that I accomplished some or didn't accomplish some. And you know, we can see just how productive I was over the years. So in the end, when I do a, a year end review of the whole journal and what I put together, we can see just how far I got and it'll be right in the front. So that'll be good. Next, what I did was I made, I made a monthly journal. I mean a monthly planner so that I could get August nice and visible real quick, broad strokes. And so the monthly was something that I definitely wanted to make sure that I had in this first go around. What I'm doing now is something that I found on many other people's stuff, which was amazing. I never really thought about doing it, but was actually to do a tracker. So to plan out the entire month and then give yourself something or a list of things that you actually wanted to accomplish every day or the majority of the month, and then you can actually see it. And so I thought that that was a great idea. I'm going to definitely do it and I'll show you the progress when we close out this month and we get in for September so you can see how I did for the last half of the month. And I think this is going to be great. And one thing I noticed is that I numbered it down and after I started using it, I should have actually numbered it up. So one would be at the bottom and then whatever the last day of the month would be at the top. But that's what this is. a big learning experience and hopefully you'll learn from my mistakes and not make the same ones so but yeah so i went ahead and did a day-to-day -day tracker i think it's going to be very useful and it should be pretty fun to to use i'm trying to do some different fonts to try and make it interesting i am not the biggest hand letterer i'm going to work on that just for this because i think it's really cool as you can see i had to change settings because i started work and when I first was putting things together, I actually was at home and this takes a lot longer than I anticipated to put together, which was also a nice learning experience for me because I had no idea that it takes this long to do it. And so I had to finish this up at work. And the one thing that I'm doing now is I firmly need like a daily to do list. So I actually put a daily page in there. I only did it once because I thought it would be pretty boring for you guys to just watch me do the same thing over and over and over again for seven days. But I figured you'd get the point. This is what it's going to look like when it's done. I went ahead and did from five until midnight. So that way I can plan my entire day. I also went ahead and put in these two separate boxes on the side. One is a mood box, which I'll be drawing in the mood of the day. And the other one is an actual to-do list. So Whereas I can plan days, like I have a meeting here, I gotta go to the doctor at this time, I can actually have a to-do list on that as well. So let's go through what I did for the month of August. Went ahead and did a cover page, got the rest of the month and a broad stroke to see, goals for 2017. Then I did a monthly page, two page spread for that and went ahead and made a daily or to do day to day tracker and a dailies page because I think that's very important. So next time I do another video, I'll be able to show you how I filled everything in, how it ended up going and stuff like that. So I hope that this was informative to you or inspired you to do something yourself. And please let me see what you guys are doing for your bullet journals and post a link 
in the comments below so I know that you saw it and you either do it on your own or you're excited to start one, whatever the case may be. But I want to be able to make one of the best journals out there, planning journals, because I think that this was really cool. I'm glad that my wife actually pointed me in this direction. And I look forward to seeing what you guys come up with. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you at the next one.